Hey there everyone, this is Alice and in today's video we're going to talk about things to know before you move to Pacifica or things rather to just know about Pacifica. Maybe you live here or maybe you're thinking about moving here um, and you'd like to get to know the place a little bit more. So I've opened up a Google map and we're just going to go through this together. Um, and I don't have too much of a script here because I personally like it when things are more casual. Um, so I'm going to start from the top and perhaps you're living in San Francisco right now. Maybe you're living in Oakland or Colma and you're ready to move to a, a place with more nature. And a lot of people, when you mention Pacifica, the best way to get it going in people's mind is the Taco Bell. You can Google world's best Taco Bell and you'll find Pacifica has the best one. Um, so we'll start at the top here. So over here is Daly City Colma area. And if you work in tech, you'll, you might know that there's the Colma BART station and it just makes it really convenient if you need to get to San Francisco or Millbrae um, to park at the SAM car. Um, there's two parking lots here, which make it really handy in Colma. There's the SAM Trans parking lot, and then there's also the Colma bar. So there's like double the spaces. So during Dreamforce, it's like the only time when you won't be able to find a spot. And even then I've found spots. So if you work in tech or um, maybe you work in South San Francisco for medical, things like that, a very easy commute if you're in the Manor District. One thing to note around here on Fairmont, it tends to be windier. So um, houses tend to be a little bit cheaper up here, but like gorgeous views. Sometimes the fog is a little bit thicker up in this part. Um, there's also great uh, Muscle Rock Park, great nature walks around here. Um, there's also a Safeway nearby. And if you really like Filipino food or any of that, Seafood City is a great place to go. The funny joke I have with um, my partner is that there, this always has like the worst weather, um, unless you're into fog and clouds. But then it's very strange, like around here, it clears up often. Um, if you have kids or a family, um, Oceana High School is right here. I believe they also have a pool. I have not tried it before. Um, so my, one of my favorite taquerias that isn't just Taco Bell is Taqueria Pacifica. They recently changed their name to this and they're delicious. Another local place that's really fun. I have not been to personally, but I plan to go next week at Winter's Tavern. They do live music. Um, if you are into the marijuana type thing, um, then there's a lot of new cannabis companies popping up along here. Uh, and let's see, Oceano Market is an awesome, awesome local marketplace. There's the Safeway and Oceana Market, and I love going to both of these. Um, I believe there's also a, uh, a yoga place here too. I've not been to that place yet. Dinosaurs, great Vietnamese sandwiches. Sam's Castle, uh, this is closed because of lockdown right now, but um, they do like tours that you can pay for. It's like an actual castle built. Um, I, I can't remember the year of it, but I believe the, chi the, the children of the creator are still hosting tours to the public, and hopefully that will come back soon. Um, if you're a golfer, there's the Sharp Park Golf Course and a really great trail that you might have already walked around here. Um, one thing to note, like people love the Valimar area. This is all just houses, so I don't know if they'll say about. So yeah, you can drive back here, very pretty. There's like palm trees, like this little part right here is just really gorgeous. Um, and when houses get on the market here, people tend to like to scoop them up quickly. Um, there's also Guerrero's Taco, P-Town Coffee and Tea, really great. On the weekends, Gorilla Barbecue's open, so you might see lines for this place. Um, let's see. And then, of course, a lot of you probably know Rockaway Beach. Um, great walks here. You can, like, even park. I'm trying to see. It's, like, hard for me. Around here and then walk all the way um, different ways, like Tamori Point, a really famous hike. Um, and then Pacifica Brewery, I'm a big fan of this, and Seabowl. Um, Seabowl is, what, even if you're not a bowler, it's great. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Other things to know about Pacifica. Okay, some people ask me, like, what's, it's always foggy there. That's, like, always what people are telling me. I'm like, no, that's not true. I believe it is, uh, I can't remember, it was, like, 255, 300 days of sun. It kind of depends what area you're in, because, again, like, places along the coast can get fog rolling in but it is very much like about the time of day um and usually if i want to know if it's going to be foggy or not i'll just like open up a webcam there's some really cool webcams um, set up around sharp park and 
um, near the pier. I can't believe I didn't mention the pier. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Here we go, right here. There's like a little webcam here. I can't remember who set it up, but he's a local and he's awesome. And he has, I think, three set up around town. Okay, so yeah, fog, like I wouldn't worry about it. If you're like really allergic to fog, the least foggy location is um, kind of once you pass the sea bowl, which, and you pass the, the brewery, it tends to like clear up um, and be in the Lindemar area. And the sunniest location is around here. Um, and then for those of you who are looking for a really, really great commute, I would recommend around here because you can easily get to the BART station um, or if you need to drive to the Caltrain to go farther like Mountain View, that is a lot easier too. One thing to note too is for tech companies, there is um, some tech companies pick up at the Coma BART station. So you can check that out. Um, yeah, those are some of the things. This is a really cool art center too, the Sanchez Art Center. I believe the oldest building, I think in San Mateo County, maybe it's a Pacifica, is around here. It is the Sanchez Adobe Building, historic landmark. So if you want to see one of the oldest buildings, you can check that out. Um, another thing that's really great is you can go to the San Pedro Valley Park or the Montero Mountain Hike. And that has some great views. There used to be like fishing here back in the day with the locals. They don't do that anymore. but. Those are just some of the things to know, and I hope you learned something interesting here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ping me, and I'll see you in the next video.